Hey everyone, what's up? This is Nick Robertson with Lilinus Kids here today to talk to you about a newer Christmas musical for your kids called Random Acts of Christmas. We're super excited about the message of this Christmas musical as these characters learn about what it means to do random acts of kindness. And then they also learn that God's plan was not random at all, that he sent his one and only son for each and every one of us. And so it's a 28 minute musical, very easy to perform, six songs, you can learn them super quick. They're upbeat, fun, energetic. We even threw in an old Christmas hymn in there, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, attached to one of the songs. I think your kids are gonna love it. I hope you'll check it out today. I can't wait for tomorrow morning. Every year my mom makes the best Christmas breakfast. She doesn't even make me drink that nasty milk like usual. You know the kind, 2% good for you, 98% gross. I like milk with loads of chocolate syrup and a big fat cookie to dunk into it. These fresh baked cookies that my mom made for our group tonight are just begging for a glass of milk right now. Well, Ella, there goes the 2% good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited about Christmas morning as well, Ben. I love watching my family open up the gifts I've chosen for them. Seeing how excited they get is one of the best feelings in the world. Wait, really? Why would you want to do that when you could open up the gifts they got you? Opening gifts is fun, Katie, but what I think Miss Carol means is that Christmas is about giving. Exactly, Holly. It feels good to give things away. It was Christmas Day that God gave us his most precious ultimate gift. That's why we celebrate each year by sharing gifts with those around us. So what is the ultimate gift? That's a good question, Bailey. And what better place to learn about it than here at our Christmas Eve service?
God gave us baby Jesus as the ultimate gift? That seems so random. Many times, God's kindness does seem random to us, but God always has a plan. Speaking of plan, when do we get to all the rest of the Christmas Eve stuff? Yeah, I love the candle lighting. What I don't like is when we hold the candle so long, we get hot wax on our fingers. You know, it's kind of hard to sing Silent Night when not all is calm. And all certainly doesn't sound bright either. Before we get to our Christmas Eve service, let's prepare our hearts by reading what happened the night that Jesus was born. Holly, will you read the Christmas story to us in Luke chapter 2? It would be my pleasure. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. Can you imagine what it would be like if you were hanging out in the field just chilling and watching over your sheep, and then some angel showed up to tell you a baby was being born? Talk about random. That could be enough to make me toss Ella's cookies. Leave it to Ben to make it awkward. That's the point, Ben. It's random. Sometimes the greatest blessings come when we least expect them. Okay, moving on. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Ella, why are you over there looking out the window? Well, I was just looking at those farmers across the street. They're out there in the cold trying to get the cattle in where it's warm. I've never really thought about it, how people like that have to work even on the holidays. Are you all thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, Bailey, it's time for them to receive something unexpected. Let's take these cookies to them and lend them a helping hand this evening. I couldn't agree more. farmers' faces when they saw us walk up, I don't think they were expecting us at all. How cool was it that we were able to help them get their work done, and now they get to join us for our Christmas Eve service? That was fun. That felt so cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. It made my heart so full watching all of you give back in such an unexpected way. 
and it didn't stop with the farmers. I saw what you did earlier tonight for the younger couple walking into the church. I did too. They needed help with their two small children. The mom looks like she's about to have her third baby any day now. Ben, you were the first one to help her with her bags. You're not as tough as you seem. What can I say? I had a random moment. Holly, you helped the mom by taking her hand, and Ellen Bailey helped direct the two younger kids to the children's room. Yes, and you held the door for all of us, Katie. I'm sure that couple wasn't expecting our help, but they sure did appreciate it. Giving is such a blessing. What can I say? I'm a giver. It's funny because I always thought real presents were wrapped with paper. I'm finding out that the best gifts aren't necessarily under the tree. Now you are really understanding the true meaning of Christmas. Miss Carol, what are some other gifts that we can offer that come from the heart? Well, I think one of the greatest gifts we have to offer one another is to pray for each other. You know, 
There are several people who came from near and far just to be at this Christmas Eve service tonight. Maybe we could pray for them. Is that too random? That's the best thing about prayer. Even when it's random, it's still right. Yeah, just think about the wise men. How random was it for them to travel hundreds of miles following a random star just to see Jesus and pray at his feet? Who would like to lead us in prayer for all of the people who will be at our Christmas Eve service? I will. I think I know what to say. Just speak from your heart, Bailey. Dear God, thank you for sending your son so that we can know what true love is. I pray that everyone who walks through these doors tonight would understand the meaning of Christmas and experience Jesus in a very real way. We love you, God. Amen.
Miss Carol, are you okay? Yes. It just really touched me to see you guys minister to so many people tonight. Everything seemed so random, but it just hit me what God has been doing through all of you tonight. What do you mean? Think about it. The farmers, the couple expecting a baby, all of you praying over the people who traveled near and far to be here tonight, just like the wise men traveled to pray with Jesus. Oh my goodness, it's like the Christmas story with the shepherds, Mary and Joseph and the wise men. Whoa, mind blown. It's always seemed kind of like a random fairy tale to me, but now it all makes perfect sense. God sent Jesus because of his great love for us. It's all so clear now and not random at all. But still, Jesus wasn't born tonight. No, sweet Ella, he wasn't. But that's the beauty of the story. Jesus was born on Christmas night and he is still alive and working through all of us today, even through what seem like little random acts of kindness. Miss Carol, I think you mean random acts of Christmas. So right. 